Hi there, welcome to another painting tutorial. In this video, we're gonna paint this giraffe with acrylic paints, so let's get started. And let's start with a size zero spotter brush. We're gonna put in some of the darkest values, and let's start with some black paint. I'm gonna go around the eye area. I'm gonna put in a pupil, and then outline some of this part of the eye. And if you'd like to paint along with me, you can just find this sketch linked in the description below. Okay, so we're putting the black around the eye. And there's kind of a eyelash along the bottom here. So you can kind of feather some of that paint out. And then let's put some black in the nostril. And I'm using this zero spotter and it's pretty good brush to get a lot of these kind of fine lines and details. And it's got some shorter bristles so it gives me a little bit more control. Let's take the black and then put that on the inside of the ear. Okay, I'm gonna wet my brush and let's take some more black paint and let's go underneath the chin area. Just kind of putting in some of those folds and I didn't put all of these little details in the sketch. So you can use that as a reference, but you don't follow, have to follow it exactly. And then let's go around some of these folds in the ear. And we can go up here. So these kind of round shapes and curved lines are helping us create some form of the animal and we can come down here along the neck okay so now let's switch to this burnt umber which is a really nice dark brown which is pretty good for underpaintings and initial washes And I'm going to put this in on some of the spots. And these spots are in shadow. So I'm kind of trying to put those in onto the right side of each spot. So we're going to do kind of an ombre effect where we get dark and then lighter as we go to the left side where the sun or the light is hitting the object. And then down here, it's going to be pretty dark as well. Okay, let's take this burnt umber and we're gonna go around this part of the eye. So kind of follow your sketch and get those lines in there. Okay, and then we have a little bit of a darker value here, kind of the horn area. And then I'm gonna go around the nose yeah, we can kind of go around these little lines. And then let's go, let's put this color in the mouth, in the shadow of the mouth here. Okay, and then under here, you can put that in shadow. And let's put on these little spot areas. We can put a little bit of a dark value on some of those. We want some variety, so we don't want everything to be the same color. And then let's go along these lines. So we can kind of emphasize the jawbone with this dark color. And we can come around here. Just kind of going around 
the sketch. And then we can put some dark value along this line. Okay, so I think that's good for blocking in our dark values. And let's switch to another color. So let's switch to the burnt sienna. And let's see where we could put. So this is going to be kind of a mid tone, and it's a very warm mid tone. Let's see where we could put that in. We can go around this area. We can put it around here. We have some bumps on the nose where we can add that color. And we can put some over here, maybe up around the lip. And then I can put it in, let's add some of it to these little spots here. Okay, maybe under the eye a little bit. And we could put it up here. Okay, so around this cheekbone, let's add some over here. Just starting to build up all the color. Then we could put some, it's going to feather some into the mane. And then let's feather in this dark burnt umber as well. Okay, so now let's move to a lighter color. And I'm going to switch brushes. So let's switch. I have a size 4 filbert brush that I'm going to use. And let's put in, I have this gray color. Let's put that in around the ear. And we can put some over here. So this is kind of going to allow that darker color to show through in some parts. And let's put some around the muzzle. We can put some around the nose. And come up here. Just putting this in kind of as an underpainting as well because we'll put some white highlights on top of it. So we want something to put that white on top of. Let's try to put it in here so it's pretty opaque when it's not watered down. So keep that in mind. Let's put some under here. Okay, so it's also acting as a little bit of a shadow. Let's go around the eye. Let's put some color in there. Maybe a little bit more paint that got a little bit too watered down. Okay, so now let's switch to this beige color. And let's add that in. So again, this is a mid-tone. And we'll see how opaque it is. Let's put that in some of the areas that we have yet to cover because we want to get all that white space kind of covered up and it's a little bit transparent does have some opacity to it 
So it's going to cover up some of the layers underneath. Okay, let's go around this ear. Just want a nice coverage of all that white of the paper. Okay, and with the, with the filbert brush, you have a lot less control than you do with that pointed spotter brush. Okay, so let's add some color. I'm going to go back to the spotter. And I'm going to use this yellow ochre color. Let's try to put that in with the eye. Just a really pretty yellow shade. And then I can take some of the burnt sienna without cleaning my brush and add a little bit of a shadow. Okay, and that gave us a nice variety of color. Okay, so I'm going to take that, go back to the filbert size four and add some of this yellow ochre. So I'm going to come around here. Just want to put this in and I can use it kind of as a spot color as well. Just kind of putting these little spots and marks. So that since it's such a bright color, it's going to work as a highlight. And it's going to kind of make what, wherever you put this color, it's going to make it kind of come forward. You can put some on the hair. And then I can put some on these spots here. Just kind of following the sketch. That bright yellow is going to pop forward. Okay, let's put a little bit of this around the nose. I can just go on the edge here. And then underneath the lip, we can put that yellow ochre. Okay, so I'm going to re-emphasize this bottom area right here. Can I get a little bit of a cleaner line? Okay, so now I think it's a good time to go in with some lighter values. So let's take the zero spotter brush. And I'm going to take some titanium white. Let's see if we can go over the eyelid very carefully. Okay, and then I want to put a little kind of a line underneath the eye. Okay, and then we're going to come around here and build some of this form for the eyelid. Okay, and then for the ear, let's put that in as a white shade. And then I'm going to kind of feather some of that paint out to make the appearance of fur. Let's go around this area here. We have a highlight. You can go also into that darker black area. So we want to kind of blend the white areas that we add here. I'm going to go this way. And then let's put some white over this. This is a nice highlight color. And then we can go under this part of the face. Just kind of covering up that beige. This is helping me build form and it's bringing the area forward in space. And then let's put some uh, white paint over here and we'll do a little bit of this. So you can kind of bring that white paint in between these darker lines and that's creating the highlight for the folds of the skin of the neck. Okay, and then I 
I can kind of come around some of these shapes with the white paint, some of the spots. And then let's take some white and put a line right here under the face. Okay, and then let's go on the nose. We could do kind of add that area. I'm gonna feather down this way to give a little bit of form to the mouth. And then I'm gonna take the titanium white and go around the nostrils. Okay, so now let's do, I feel like it needs a little bit of a glaze. So we can kind of let some of that white paint dry first. And then I could take some yellow ochre and just a watery mix. Let's see if we can kind of glaze that onto the giraffe in just certain areas where we want to warm up the piece a little bit. Maybe around the nose, come under here. Okay, maybe come around this area. Let's actually try, so I have a light blue color. Let's see if we can use that as a glaze. So I'll take a little bit of this water and some of the blue. Let's see how that looks as a glaze over some of the white shadows. Okay, so this is just a cool shadow and we'll just put that in in some certain areas. And it's going to look nice with the yellow paint because that blue is a complementary color of the yellow. So they really make each other sing when they're next to each other. That, I'm going to lift that off because that was a little bit too much gray. Okay, so now let's take, let's go back with some of this burnt sienna. And I have my six filbert. Let's try to put back in some of these shapes. So I'm trying to go on the right side, but I'm trying to put in some of the spots. I'm trying to do it with one stroke. It's a good opportunity to kind of make some expressive strokes with your brush. And then let's go over these here. So we're just kind of reinstating them. Try to cover up your pencil marks. Okay, and then with that spotter and that same color, let's add some spots in here. Try to make them random. You're using the tip of the brush to give you the shape that you want. And we can switch to the raw umber and then where it's in shadow, these spots are gonna be a little bit darker. We can put a little bit of a shadow up there. Okay, you try to make it random and that'll make it appear more natural as well. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of the white. Let's take some titanium white and see if we can add to the eye. So I want to do a little bit of a highlight. It's just like maybe three little white dots we can put there. Okay, I think that looks good for the highlight. And let's We'll call this just about finished. Let's take a little bit of the burnt umber and kind of reinstate some of the dark areas of the eye. I'm just going to try to carefully go around that eye and try to bring back 
some of that dark color. You can kind of go on this side, just giving more detail to the eye. And we can come out this way. So we want the eye to be the focal point. So the most detail and the most contrast will really help to bring the viewer's eye towards that area. Okay. All right, and kind of step back and look at your piece. I'm gonna kind of add maybe a little bit of an outline right here. And then blend it in a little bit. Okay. And then I think I'm going to take, let's take some beige color and maybe add that to the eye lid just because I think it's showing up a little bit too white. And I think that'll make it look a little bit more natural. Okay. All right, so I think we will call this piece complete. I hope you get a chance to paint along with me. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more painting tutorials, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!